everybody, it's Dennis Wood from Cinevate with yet another installment of Cinevate's Video University. This one is focusing on some of the new components related to our shoulder and our counterbalance. Now, there's not a lot of people shooting properly counterbalanced and one of the reasons is uh, there aren't a lot of good counterbalance kits. We didn't have one ourselves till a little while ago. Um, but it makes a huge, huge difference when you're shooting uh, to have a good shoulder pad system and a counterbalance. So we're going to talk about those today and we're going to show we've got our uh, our core rig here uh, with some longer rails. Normally we ship these with 30 centimeter rails. We put in some 60s here uh, to give us a little more rear rear rail and also we've got some extra up front. A set of 45s would probably do great with this setup but um, let's launch right into it. So first of all we have our new shoulder pad which is uh, um, I don't know how to say this delicately but it's a lot better looking um, than what we had previously. Um, it's also uh, made by Porter Brace, so it's a, it's a, it's made by a company who knows what they're doing. But it's non-skid. It's really nice. Uh, really does stick on your clothing. And um, you can see we've got our logo sewn in, and this component is new too. This is all CNC. You can't tell here, but the, nothing's plastic. This is all CNC milled aluminum. It's very strong. It's also adjustable. First of all, we have this thing here we call the triple clamp, and you see a couple of stainless steel fasteners in there. Um, this forms the offset that will control where this uh, piece is in relation to your shoulder. Uh, the way we try to have it set up is so that it's reasonably in front of your face, and you'll find out why momentarily here. Uh, if you do need to adjust this, there's a key provided, and again, it's not something you'll typically adjust all the time. We tend to put them fairly tight, because they need to be tight, and um, if you want to adjust the height that your system is at, you can you have the option here of changing this position. So if I want my rig higher, I'll adjust it like this, and if I want my rig lower in relation to my face, I'll adjust it like this. And there's quite a few different options in doing that, but uh, using our Cyclops Finder, um, this is definitely gonna be better mounted high, so I'm just gonna tighten this up. And one of the tricks here, by the way, let's just get this in position so you can see it, is gonna to be to tighten the center one first. So typically you'd loosen the two on the outside, tighten the center first, that'll snug everything up. And the last thing you do is adjust the two on the outside. Just give them a tighten. And these do have to be pretty tight. If for some reason it's slipping on you, um, first thing to do is you can either hit it with a little bit of emery cloth, just a bit, clean it with alcohol. It makes a huge amount of difference if you have any finger oil or anything on there. So roughing it up in a little alcohol uh, makes a huge difference. So there's our, our counterbalance. And in this case, you can see I've got these holes firing out this way where I want my rails, but obviously the shoulder piece is in the wrong position. So what you can do, we've provided this kip handle here, which if you loosen off, will allow you to adjust the shoulder component in different positions. So I want the rails running out this way and this pretty close to my shoulder. So I'll set it up like this and I'll tighten this kip up. And again, like all kips, we use, you find them all over our gear. If, it, if you don't like, this is gonna be sticking into my shoulder, so I'm just gonna pull it out and adjust, and get it out of the way. These fasteners, you can tighten fairly tight. And again, it's not something you typically collapse and tighten all the time, but you'll see we've got these key drives. We, this is a finger tight tighten, but honestly, you're gonna use the key drive to get it snug in, 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 in the proper position. In the back here, you'll see we have one of our rails blocks. And if you've bought any of our shoulder systems, doesn't matter what they, what version they were, they all have this rails block here. And why? Well, simple, because we want you to be able to take our counterbalance and insert it. So this is the Cinevate counterbalance. It's made of aluminum, it's anodized. It's pretty much a lifetime part. And we include some carbon rails, so you can pretty much position this wherever you like. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to kind of fire these rails out fairly long. I'm just going to show you how they integrate into the back of the unit. And the counterbalance makes a huge difference in terms of stability and certainly in terms of um, use. A good example would be Vinny Minton. He's uh, one of our new sponsored shooters. I've uh, just shot a little episode uh, uh, of House, I guess a segment of an episode on House. And he used the counterbalance with the core because it gives him a lot of flexibility, essentially in um, positioning. So I've got my short stubby rails 
Um, I've extended them a fair bit. You do, you do need to make sure they're pretty snug here. And I'm just gonna slide this in. And in this case, again, I'm gonna make sure these are snug because I, I don't want this to drop onto my toes. So we'll just snug up onto the carbon. It's solid carbon, like all of our rails, so it's very, very strong. And here's a, here I have a counterbalanced rig. And if I wanted to, although most people would not do this, you can I can loosen this up. Oh, wrong key. And uh, there's a, I mean, you can increase the amount of counterbalance with the same amount of weight by repositioning this piece out. But this is obviously going to be a bit of a hazard because if you're putting this on your shoulder, you're going to have this big piece sticking out behind. It's not going to be good. So if you do need the extra counterbalance and you don't want to actually put more weight, there's an option. Most people are going to elect to have this piece running down their back. And I'm going to keep this loose, a little bit looser, so it'll just fit my back. This is the stuff I'm concerned about here uh, in terms of making sure it's rigid. And what I can do now is just slide this onto the rig. And again, you can see how easily it could potentially come on and off. And I can see right now that this is not going to be comfortable for me. So I'm going to uh, loosen that and angle this up, tighten this back up, like so. And the counterbalance, of course, is empty. And uh, of course, we're not going to fill it full of lead or anything and ship it to you. But guess what? You could take this, the lid off. It's aluminum. And uh, you could use lead shot. You could even use a you know, Ziploc bag full of sand. There's a lot of options for what you can put in here. Um, we've, uh, in a pinch at uh, NAB, we just used a bag of bolts. So we showed you um, the counterbalance rig with the full-on core, which, by the way, could be any of our DSLR rigs, or for that matter, any 50 millimeter rails. The standard 50 millimeter rails on 60 millimeter center will fit this gear. So. If you're already using somebody else's gear, you can still use all of our shoulder components here, no problem. And uh, to spice things up a bit, we've uh, made it possible to use any of our Uno or our Cyclops. In this case, Cyclops with Medusa kind of added uh, in this configuration. So you can see Uno here, which is our single rod system. And I've got the counterbalance um, via a special bit that we have right here. Um, and it's the same rig as, as uh, in all other instances, in this case, the counterbalance is empty. But what this lets me do now is it's very comfortable. It's probably the lightest rig you'll have from us. But if I just face the camera here, you can see I've got one grip. Because I've got the counterbalance on, it's very, very stable. So I've got this D3S. It's a bit of a higher body. It's right in front of my face. And uh, I've got a really nice, comfortable shooting position. With the counterweight, I mean, instead of most people can't kind of hold a camera like this for longer than a few minutes unless they're trained at one go. With a counterbalance, you can pretty much sit there all afternoon. So it's a, it's a cool setup. And again, if you want to uh, take this counterbalance and say transfer it over to, uh, I, I'm getting my names confused here, but to Cyclops, then it's really a simple matter of removing this piece here and sliding that off and we'll just, okay, that's not gonna go anywhere. Take the same components, and again, I've left a rail on our little Uno. And I'm just going to snug that into place. Just with Cyclops, which is a viewfinder. In this case, we've added some uh, rails as is an option. We've also added Medusa to this. But we've kind of taken our Cyclops and turned it into a DSLR rig, which is uh, very cost effective. So this whole rig, again, can be counterbalanced much the same way as Uno was. But in this case, it's a different setup, but again, nicely counterbalanced. And uh, again, based on Cyclops, a little less flexibility in terms of Cyclops, uh, in terms of configuration options, but I don't think anyone's gonna complain about the price. So, Cinevate's new shoulder pad and counterbalance system. We showed you how to adjust it. Uh, we showed you some of the options in terms of where you can position, and that pretty much covers it. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you get a lot of good years of use out of this kit. Again, everything's aluminum, it's powder coated or anodized, and uh, it's definitely built to last a lifetime.